Yeah. Ali, come say hi. Hi, yo. We out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here with Gucci gang. You know what I'm saying? We support this thing. That's what we doing. We doing that thing. Alright? <laughs> Be easy. Smoke a split. Smoke a blunt. Smoke a bar. Do whatever that you want. We out here. <laughs> okay, so today's video is one that my friend and I went back and forth discussing as to whether or not I should actually film it. Only because, um, like, it's something that, like, could potentially get us in trouble. But at the same time, it happened so long ago that I doubt, like, anyone's still interested in getting us in trouble for it. Um... So I'm just gonna start with like a little bit of a backstory on like mine and my friend's relationship. Uh, my friend's name is Sterling. Um, we've been friends for let's say like I'm 18 now, so probably like 15 years. Uh, we met a while ago, uh, well, 15 years ago, at um, our babysitter's house, and it was just a lady in Brampton who like ran this thing out of her house, um, like with her son, and like the three of us were like thick as thieves. Like we were actually like devil children, I think. For as far as I can remember um, anyways um, so yeah it was the three of us her uh, Sterling myself and this lady's son uh, we're all we we're all around like the same age I'm pretty sure Sterling's like a year older than me and I think that the, the guys or the lady's son was the same age as Sterling um, so yeah so Sterling and I like our parents actually became like very close because of the um, like the babysitter so like our parents were always like hanging out like my dad's birthday and like my dad's birthday last month and like her parents were there like we always like hang out on New Year's like we have like New Year's, New Year's Eve tradition and everything so like our families are very close um, but like Sterling and I like we usually hang out like we'll hang out outside of like family stuff um, so I think this was about like three summers ago if I recall correctly um and like we're like mischievous as fuck like we're always trying to do some dumb shit like i'm not even joking like i don't know why we couldn't just fucking sit in the basement and watch tv like normal people um like to this day like i posted the video the other day and she messaged me she's like yo let's go check out haunted houses like we're always on some next shit we're always trying to do some dumb shit like i swear to god um <laughs> anyways so um it was like i think it was a summer and it was about two or three years ago i want to say honestly maybe like four years ago it was a while ago um <clears throat> so we were chilling at our house and i was like sleeping over that night and we were like yo i've got a good idea let's go put some bubbles in the fucking fountain uh like you know at parks like those big fountains with like like the water comes like this down it so we were like let's put some bubbles in it so like she had prior to this like a ring like me coming to her house she had gone and bought bubbles from like the grocery or dollarama or whatever the fuck like walmart whatever she had gone and bought some so we already had the bubbles and stuff so when it got late like we waited till it was like really late like 12 like 1 a.m kind of thing like we just stayed up and waited because i don't i don't even know like what the fuck anyways so she uh so it got late or whatever and the only shoes i had were the ones i'm wearing now they're like nike like nike airs but they're like white like at the time they had just come out so they weren't like super they were like super popular but not everyone had that had them if that makes sense so like and they're like white like if i'm wearing all black like all it's gonna stand out is my shoes so i was like fuck like i can't wear these so basically like i ended up wearing her moccasins and she wore like her work boots um and the thing with her work boots, like this is gonna come up later, but I'm just gonna like say it now. One of them, I think it was the right one, the back, like you know when you step on the heel and like it like the plastic part or the fabric part like comes away and the plastic like is like shown and like it causes blisters. So keep that in mind, like the heel of her work boot was broken. So we um so the time came for us to go whatever, and this wasn't like a like a like a close walk, like this was like far like it was like let's say like 20 to like 40 minutes i can't even remember it's just it wasn't like it was five minutes down the street and then we were done kind of thing like we were stupid anyway so before we left we made these masks out of like paper like literally like uh, like fucking printer paper 
we cut like eye holes out of it and like little like nose dots like this is what we did and we attached like string or like an elastic band or something around it and we dressed up like in like regular clothes like no like logos nothing that could give us away and just like fucking we like we went like we walked we stretched all the way out there fucking to this fountain and we get there and we pour she bought i think she had bought like six bottles like you know like the big bottles of soap like six bottles of body wash so we empty like one in each so, like that's like two and we're like watching and we're like fuck like it's not fucking like filling up or whatever like there's nothing happening so we're like okay we'll empty another one so we ended up emptying all six bottles into the fountain and we're like fuck nothing's happening and then we like i'm sort of like watching but out of the corner of my eye i see someone moving like out in the background of this park and I'm like, holy fuck, like, security. So we fucking book it across the street. So take in Gage Park, where we were at, they have cameras, okay? So it's not like there's no, like, security footage, nothing. Like, th they have cameras. They they saw us, but we had our masks on. So all was good. So we book it across the street to the bus stop. And we're at the bus stop, and we wait, and the security guard's walking around, and then he, like, goes, does his little check, and then goes back to wherever the fuck he was. So then Sterling and I are like, all right, we got to switch out of these clothes so we can go back and check on it. Tell me how I put on her boots, she puts on her moccasins, we switch sweaters and take the masks off and then walk back over to the fucking fountain. Like, what? What were we thinking? Like, we're so stupid. Like, we took the fucking masks off. Like, there's cameras and everything and we're just like, literally like, switch sweaters, switch shoes and we're like different people. Like, what the fuck were we actually thinking? We're actually so stupid. Anyways, so we get back over to like the fountain and like it's bubbling but like not a lot so we're like okay whatever like this is it we took our like snapchats our pictures like had our time whatever and then we left and we're walking back and um like sterling's dad comes on his like little moped and he's literally has like a fucking like beats pill strapped to the front of his moped with like you know those bungee cord things that everyone's dad has to like hold stuff down on their tra truck bed like the trailer of their bed like that it's like strapped to the fucking moped with that and he's blaring music i can't remember what song it was but he's just just like so funny like it's like three in the fucking morning at this point right and he comes up to us and he's like <laughs> smells like apples and we just die because at the time he had no idea that we just poured like six fucking bottles of apple scented bubble soap into the fucking fountain so we were just like we laughed whatever and then we told him like blah 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 we just did this we just did this and he's like hey go 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 like go back to the house like don't get caught here whatever and then he goes on his fucking moped to go check it out and then when he gets there he takes his videos his pictures whatever he comes back to the house and he shows us and we're like okay cool like that was the end of the night like we did our bubbles like whatever it was over the next morning we wake up and we're like like at first like it was like like we kind of like we didn't like forget but like it just wasn't something that like popped into our heads and then we're like holy shit like we should check if there's anything like online if anyone posted pictures about like the fountain so we go into her mom's room and we tell her like what happened and she's already like known like she's like yeah like i saw it on the news and i was like what what so basically um i'm gonna try to find it like there's a news article <clears throat> okay, so basically in the Brampton Guardian, there's a news article. I don't know if this is going to focus. No, no, fucking hates me. Anyways, uh, in the BramptonGuardian.com, it says bubble bath anyone. June, June 24th, 2014. So this was literally like four years ago. Holy shit. Anyway, so it says, Gage Park is known for turning heads with its beautiful flowers and majestic trees. But Tuesday morning, there was something else that had passerby, that had, pa they, spell it here, passerby's gawking. Someone put something in the historic park's fountain that created a bubbly mess. Peel Asian police say they do not know who the culprit was, but the foam attracted a lot of attention and a lot of chatter on Twitter as pictures were posted. There's no word yet from the city about any potential damage the bubbles have caused. And that's like the article. So after we looked at this, we were like dying. We were like, holy fuck, like that's so funny, whatever, whatever. But it was over. And then we're like, it, like it mentioned Twitter. So we're like, okay, we'll check out Twitter. See, like, see what's like on Twitter. So I'm going to find it here. Search. Um, gauge Park. Bubbles. Fountain. Super generic. 
see what comes out. Let's see if it's there even. <clears throat> it's literally still here. Okay, so. Like, that's it. Like, fucking. It's still there. So. This one girl tweets, whoever decided to put bubbles in the fountain at Gage Park, dot, 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 kill yourself. Thanks, fam. Lots of love. Someone else goes, LMAO, who's the smartass who put bubbles in the fountain at Gage Park? Literally, like, okay, so you know when, like, when I put, when we put the bubbles in, like, we expected, like, a few fucking bubbles. No, we made a fucking foam bath. Like, this shit was flowing out of the motherfucking fountain, like, onto the grass, onto the road. Like, it fucking, like foam the fuck up like this is it like this wasn't even like please focus okay there we go so this is it and this wasn't even like the worst of it like like that was just like the beginning of the bubbles and now it's not focused on it. that wasn't even like the gist of it that was just like the beginning of the bubbles right and then more people whatever whatever <clears throat> someone put bubbles in the fountain at gauge park dot 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 bubble fight um, and then someone goes at Brampton. Why is Parks and Rec not turning off the fountain at Gage Park to limit bubbles, thus driver distraction? Fucking CBC Toronto tweeted. I don't know why I keep showing you this. Like it's actually gonna like focus. Scott Fox on air. Okay, who put bubbles in the fountain at Gage Park? Okay, this is a much better picture. I want to see if I can get it to like focus and show you. Oh my God, it's so annoying. Whatever. But yeah, so just like. So many, so many, so many, like, so many tweets came through, and we were just like, holy shit, like, we're famous. Like, at the time, like, I was like, what, I'm 18 now? I was like 14, so like, we're like, oh my god, like, we're famous, we put bubbles, like, ha ha ha, we can't tell anyone, the police are gonna come arrest us, da 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 da, like, it's, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so, basically, like, to, like, to this day, like, when I, when we discussed, like, telling people later on, like, we never really, like, it was always kind of like, no, like, we're not going to do it. But, like, today I, like, sort of discussed it with her. I'm like, yo, I'm going to film the video. And she's like, okay, hey, like, she was cool with it. But, like, to this day we're always like, yo, we're going to get fucking arrested if we, like, tell anyone we put bubbles. Blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, it was pretty sick. Um, anyways, as I had posted in the title for this video, you all are probably only here and only still watching until this point because of the giveaway. So what I have here is two items. So you have two chances to obtain one of these items. Um, so the first thing you have to do is subscribe. Once you've subscribed, you've like completed step one, okay? So first you need to do is subscribe to even like get a chance at winning one of these items. The first is this. It is an iPad Pro. I what? I'm illiterate. An iPad Pro, it's 10.5 inches with Wi-Fi, 256 gigabytes, nothing special, but just like a little, little thing I got for you guys. So in order to get this, you need to subscribe to my channel and comment below. Anything you want, just fucking say something. If it's rude, you're not getting entered. Just literally anything, comment whatever the fuck you want below to be entered for this. And the second thing is Sony Extra Bass Speaker. It is water resistant. Uh, you can connect it to your phone. It's Bluetooth, rechargeable battery, all this good stuff. There we go. That's the second item. For this one, again, you have to, have to, have to be subscribed or else you can't be entered. And all you have to do for this is like this video. If you like this video, you get entered for this. If you like the video and comment, you get a chance to win both items, which means in about a week to two weeks, I'm basically going to put everybody's YouTube name in a fucking hat for each item and pull from the hat the names and whoever fucking name comes up wins the fucking item. And then I will post the video and once the video is posted, said person has, let's say 24, I'm going to give you guys 24 hours to like message me um like i'll put my email and to send me a message so that i can figure out how the fuck i'm gonna ship this to you like where you're at sort of thing um let's give you an exact date hold on what day is it today today is wednesday february 14th it is 12 26 a.m which means i will post today so i will give it a week seven days or should i give it two weeks I'll give it a week and a half so on the 24th so on Saturday, February 24th, I will draw out of two hats, one winner for the speaker and another 
for the iPad. And on that day, two people will win and two people will get an iPad or a speaker shipped to them. So you have two chances to win. Subscribe, comment for the iPad, like for the speaker. On 